Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mike. My channel is The Grumpy Wagon. Uh, today I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna cook myself some country ribs, pork ribs, teriyaki and pineapple in the crock pot. So what I have here is 3.8 pounds. It was a family pack of country pork ribs. And I trimmed them up and got as much of the fat that I could without completely cubing it. So we're gonna do this in the crock pot. So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna be using onions. That's um, one medium onion and one large onion. Three cloves of garlic crushed. Pineapple. Teriyaki sauce. Black pepper, some kosher salt, and brown sugar. That's what I'm gonna start this, this recipe up with. Now, uh, what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but I, I don't know, I, I like to do it. Cause I'll put brown sugar here, and then I just mix all this together. Just the brown sugar. I want all of these to have brown sugar on them. I mean, being in a crock pot, they're all gonna get brown sugar eventually in there and all soaked up, but I don't know, I just, like I said, this is optional. <laughs> I just feel like I'm getting more sugar on there. I don't know. It's just a personal thing, I guess. Make sure they're all rubbed in real good. Now I have my crock pots already warming up a little bit, and these are room temperature. I left them out. That way it reduces your cook time a little bit. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. Let that get in there and then we'll be right back and I'll pick it up, loading up the crock pot. Okay, I got my crock pot here. It's warming up or it's been warming up. It's not actually on low or high, it's just warm to get it to room temperature faster. And I'm gonna line this up with some cooking spray. Just some vegetable oil spray. You can use a liner if you have liners. Okay, so I have that. So what I'm gonna do first, I think, I'm gonna take my onion. And generally you wanna put the things that are gonna cook the longest on the bottom. But I'm just gonna put a little bed of onions on here anyway. Hopefully you can see that. Not sure, but you get the idea. Now I'm just gonna start putting in beef ribs. Now this was almost four pounds of beef ribs, but after trimming them, there's probably only about 3.2 pounds, maybe 3.4, I didn't weigh it. I'm gonna put one layer there, decent layer, and everything's already got some brown sugar on it. That's why I like putting the brown sugar on there. Now, I'll rinse my hands. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a layer of pineapples. And this is just chopped pineapple. You can put more if you like. You can leave it out if you like. It doesn't really matter, I don't, you know, it's your choice. Some more onions. Oops. Yeah. I'm gonna take some of that garlic, put it in there. And another layer of the ribs. That was about a cup of brown sugar. So the, there's a, at least a cup of brown sugar on this. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this. 
for dinner. So it was one cup of brown sugar. Now we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the onions. Add the rest of the onions and pineapple, and the rest of the garlic. This was three regular sized cloves. And we add the rest of the pineapple. And I'm gonna and I am going to add the juice and everything. Okay, now, that was the pineapple chunks, 20 ounce can. Okay, now I'm gonna take the teriyaki, and we'll see how much a cup will bring us to, if it gives us any liquid and how much it'll raise the liquid. So I'm gonna do one cup. And the liquid with one cup, if you see, right there. Hopefully you can see it's not too reflective. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna cook this on low for about eight hours. I got other stuff I need to go do today, so you can cook it on high, probably five. You can check it. I'm also going to add, right now I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of black pepper. And this is to taste, so however you like it. Then I'm going to add some kosher salt, another teaspoon. And then you can taste it as you go along if you like less or more. I don't like adding too much salt because I don't want it to begin to cure the meat. Because this recipe resembles one of my jerky recipes. And it's an actual cure. So, I think we got it all, and that's it. Put the lid on top of this, and we're going to let it cook on high for eight hours. And I'll catch okay, you then. And it has been eight hours. Actually, about eight hours and ten minutes. Well, let's see how this is. About at the five hour mark, I went ahead and stirred this up a little bit. Let's see what this is looking like. Looking pretty good. Smells wonderful. You can see that. Very tender. Just falls apart. Okay, well I'm going to plate this up. I made some white rice that we're going to put this over and we'll give her a taste test. And here we are, all plated up with some white rice. Got some of the onions there, the pork, a few pieces of pineapple, and we are going to give this a taste test. I've already tasted it, it's pretty good. Okay everyone. Let's try this out. I'm going to grab a little piece of the pork. Right there. Really tender. Smells pretty good. A little piece of the onion. The pineapple. I'll put it on the Mmm. That's pretty good. Some of that rice. And that onion. It's pretty good. Um, I thought the pork would be a little bit more juicier being in there. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the soy sauce to the, the rice. 
Um, I don't taste the pepper. I taste a lot of the onion, so probably throttle back a little bit on the onions. Maybe a little bit more of the pineapple. And I think it's pretty good. So, if you try this recipe, let me know in the comments what you thought. Or if you've done any changes to it, let me know. I can change mine too. Hey, this is just, you know, cooking's about having fun. Having a good time, so. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm just a new channel starting out, so I appreciate it. Thanks.